7 First Alert Weather. The first half of January has been filled with some very warm winter temperatures around 10 degrees above average through the bulk of the past two weeks. We take this all the way back to the 2nd of January and you can see this line as reference for where our average high should be for this time of year. Now this is halfway through January. It's almost as if we're getting that fall weather that we largely missed out on in November now in January and in November we had our winter January weather. So I put together this little uh, comparison side by side. This was suggested by our wonderful Tom Scott who emailed me today and he said it was so cold in November. In fact, it was nearly four degrees below average for the first half of November and we picked up almost two inches of snow in Boise. Believe it or not, we haven't recorded any snow through January through the new year so far in the Boise area and the average temperature is running six and a half degrees above normal. I do think we're about to see a bit of a pattern flip though and I want to take this out at the long range outlook here. This is from the Climate Prediction Center showing that largely we're favored to see below average temperatures to the uh, tune of at least a 40% chance of below average temperatures for the rest of January, looking for that pattern flip for the final week of the month. And it does look like we'll finally see some relief from the relentless precipitation in the West. This is favoring below average precipitation and kind of moving that moisture farther to the midsection of the country. So equal chances of above or below precipitation as we look at that last uh, week of January. Our high temperatures though, that will be trending downward as we head through this week ahead and again into the final week of January as well. Average high for this time of year is still 38 degrees. We're still a touch above that, but not 52 like it was for the last couple of days and even sliding a touch below average as we wrap up the week. Now, not a lot to talk about for Monday and Tuesday and bulk of Wednesday, but as we get into the middle of the week, I'm looking at the time line Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, we see this next round of precipitation coming into play. And as our temperatures are cooling, this is likely to bring snow all the way down to the valley floors, and that may cause for some winter driving conditions for Thursday morning's commute. Minor accumulations expected, but still something a great timeline to keep an eye on an unsettled weekend ahead as we get into next week. So snow potential taking this out through uh, Thursday morning. We're showing again minor accumulations probably up to or around an inch for the valley. Mountains do quite well with this next push of moisture coming in for the middle of the week with about three to five inches, perhaps even some higher totals for our ski areas. So that will be for the middle of the week and showing you the seven day forecast. Again, it doesn't push in until into the evening hours and overnight, but we will see some light snow showers into early Thursday morning. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on this for that Thursday morning commute and our temperatures look like winter making a comeback for the second half of the month. We'll be right back after a quick break.